audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Want to win in life's challenges? To know the will of God and have more passion for Him? Practical help right now with Tark Barna and Running With Fire. Well, this week we're looking at hope, having hope in God. There are so many people whose lives are hopeless or their level of hope is very low. And you may be one of those. And it's my prayer through the course of this week, God will begin to impart and pour into you hope that will lift you up with a greater expectation of good in your life. There's a couple of real dangers of losing hope. And one is that we can step away from God, maybe do some dumb things. You know, sometimes Christians, they lose hope for healing. They lose hope for a back breakthrough in their circumstances, maybe in their finances, their marriages, maybe their kids' job, any area. And when we lose hope, there's a danger of kind of thinking God's not delivered, God's not answered my prayer, and we can drift away from God. When people lose hope, their lives can very quickly deteriorate. They can do foolish things. They don't care because they think it doesn't matter. I have no hope anyway. The second danger of losing hope is we actually give up. Proverbs 13 verse 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a heart, but a desire fulfilled is a tree of life. Where there is no hope, they say there is no endeavor. So when hope is gone, it's very easy to quit, to stop trying, to give up on our dreams, our visions, our aspirations. A person may work, for example, really hard at a relationship to sort it out, maybe a marriage or with a child. And then as time goes by and it's not happening, they can lose hope and then they finally give up on even trying to see that relationship come right. In Halford Luckock's book, Unfinished Business, a man shares a story about a little town flagstaff. The town was going to be flooded, do some work, I guess, and the government built a large dam. So in the months And years during the dam construction, all repairs and improvements in the town were stopped. Why paint your house? Why repair anything if it's going to be covered with water in six months? Week by week, the town fell apart as if abandoned. The point is this, where there's no hope for the future, there is no power in the present. Where there is no hope for the future, there's no power in the present. And people tend to give up. So we need hope to press on. So not surprisingly, the Bible connects hope with perseverance. Hope sustains us when circumstances say give up. What's the point? The future is bleak. Let me give you a scripture. Romans 5, 3 to 5. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance. Watch this. Perseverance, character, character and character hope. You wouldn't normally connect perseverance with hope, would you? But the Bible does. Verse 5, Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Notice the surprising progression here. Tribulations produce perseverance, which produce character, which produce hope, and hope which does not disappoint. You say, Can you explain that? Like, how does that actually work? Well, I think it's simply the God factor. Often because of the God factor, in what should be our ruin in a seemingly hopeless situation, God turns it around to produce amazingly positive results. So in your trial, in your disaster, in your setback, in your disappointment, As you respond to God and as you persevere and trust Him, you can come out of that trial with perseverance, with character, with hope that doesn't disappoint. And I've been through trials in my life, as you have, been through struggles in my life. And I have found that as I have persevered, as I've trusted in God, it has developed character in my life. But also it's given me a hope that has kept me going and moving forward into the future. We serve a God of hope and He can fill you with more hope today. Tark Barner is the Senior Pastor of Church Unlimited in Auckland, New Zealand. 
For more information, to make contact or to listen again, look for Running With Fire at our website, vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.